Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The first time you attempt to print a check, you will be taken to the Print Checks Setup page. Here you will be asked what type of checks you use, either voucher or standard. The next step is to print a sample check on blank paper. This is done to ensure the fields line up properly on your check. Once you are satisfied that you have selected the correct option for your check, click the Yes I'm Finished with Setup button to open the Print Checks page. If the fields do not align properly, click No Continue Setup. The next step is to set up PDF Reader. Here you will be able to download the most recent version of Adobe Acrobat Reader. If you already have the most recent version, you can click the No Continue Setup button to be taken to the next step. The final step to ensure your checks print properly is Adjust Alignment. Here you will be able to drag a grid on the screen to adjust where it prints on the blank paper. This will ensure the proper alignment of your checks. When you have made the adjustments and confirmed that all the fields line up properly, click Finish Setup. This will close the setup page and take you to the Print Checks page. Here you will find a list of any checks you have written but not yet printed. The first area on the page is an account drop-down box at the top left-hand side of the page. This drop-down box will allow you to select from which account you are writing the checks. To the right you will see the balance for the account you chose, followed by the number of checks selected and the amount of the combined checks. On the same line, on the right-hand side of the screen, is an Add Check button. This button will allow you to create a new check from this window if needed. Next is a list of the checks that you have already written. At the top of this list is a Remove From List button. Clicking this button will remove any selected checks from the list. Doing so will open a confirmation pop-up box. This box tells you if you remove these checks from this list, you'll need to open each check individually to print it. Do you want to continue? Clicking No will take you back to the page with no changes. Clicking Yes will remove the selected checks from the list and you will need to print each check individually. The next button is a drop-down button to determine the sort order of the check shown in the list. The default option for this is sort by date or order created. The other options are sort by payee, sort by order created, and sort by date or payee. The next button is a drop-down button to select what is shown in the list. The default option is show all checks. There are two other options. They are show regular checks and show bill payment checks. Next is a starting check number text box. Here you will enter the starting check number for the first check. At the end of this line, on the right hand side of the screen, are two icons. The first is the print icon, which will print your checklist. The second is a gear icon that will allow you to adjust the makeup of the checklist. At the bottom of the screen is a collection of buttons. From left to right they are cancel, print setup, order checks, and preview and print. Clicking cancel will close the page and not save any changes. Clicking Print Setup will open the Print Setup page again. Clicking Order Checks will open a new tab that will take you to an Intuit QuickBooks Store page where you can order checks. The final button, Preview and Print, will open the PDF Reader for you to preview the selections. If everything looks correct, you can click the Print icon to print your checks. When you have printed your checks, a pop-up box will display asking, Did your checks print OK? There are three options listed on this page. The first is yes, they all printed correctly. Next is some checks need reprint, starting with check. And this option has a drop-down box for you to select the starting check number of the checks that need to be reprinted. The final option is no, keep all checks in the print checks list. When you have selected the option that fits your needs, click the done button. This will close the page and take you to the option that you selected. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.